just 10 years ago, shit, I'll even go eight, eight years ago, would anyone have guessed or anyone have believed that YouTubers would come in, fight people who are not boxers, <laughs> and the shit would still be called boxing? Double Toasted Live in New York is right around the corner, Friday, September 10th, and there are less than 100 tickets left. But I want you to join me for a night of comedy and games, and I want you to get your tickets now before it sells out. So go to DoubleToasted.com or go to X1Entertainment.com forward slash double dash toasted dash Brooklyn, and we'll see you there. Hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. Do you keep up with boxing? I surely do not. <laughs> well, nobody does these days because it's not really boxing, people say. <laughs> we say people say, I keep up with something, but I don't know if I can call it boxing. You know, we just had we just had this uh this this Jake Paul fight, this Jake Paul and uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Tyron Woodley. Ty, uh, Ty, Tyron? A, a Ty, Ty, is it Tyron or Tyrone? Ty, uh, Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley. Yeah, Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley. And the fight ended predictably, as people expected, uh, with Jake winning, but with Jake winning by split decision. It also ended unpredictably by people, thousands of people saying, why the f did I waste my time with this? <laughs> Why do I keep doing this to myself every time? You know, it has people wondering what is going on with quote unquote boxing right now. Now, I'm not that knowledgeable uh, with any sport, really. I, you know, I, don't, I don't like certain things. I like boxing, which is why I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm trying to figure it out because I have to ask with what the, what's going on here right now. Is this real boxing? Just 10 years ago, shit, I'll even go eight, eight years ago. Would anyone have guessed, or anyone have believed that YouTubers would come in, fight people who are not boxers, <laughs> and the shit would still be called boxing? And now you keep up with this stuff. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. So I'm going to refer to you with some of this. You know, I'm going to tell y'all, man. At this point, to me, wrestling seems more real. Realistic. <laughs> yeah, wrestling seems more realistic. That elite, that wrestling people will at least admit to you that some of it's fake. Yeah, it's fake, yeah. Yeah. Shit, you know, when they're out there fighting zombies. He's fighting the same enemy. Oh, Jesus. Look at all about this. How do you not Yeah, when they're out there fighting zombies, when, <laughs> when, when matches are ending, with people getting devoured by <laughs> zombies. <laughs> you know? <laughs> ain't, they, ain't none of them trying to come out and bullshit you saying that that's real. <laughs> man, listen, if it was 1980-something, I'd be like, oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. And I'm not even, man, I'm, I'm I'm not one of those people who had, you know, I, I hold my nose up to, to wrestling. Y'all go out there and do as much crazy shit as you want to. I love it when they get crazy. I've seen them blow up people in, 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 in trailers. I've seen them oh, drop yeah. people in cars. <laughs> blow <laughs> somebody in a limo. Blow somebody up in a limo. <laughs> I've seen people rise from the dead. You know? And I've seen people fighting zombies. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling a little weirded out by people calling this boxing right now. Um, I'm going to say this, man. This is not a rant against Jake Paul. But I will say that I have yet, and I've already said it, I have yet to see Jake Paul, you call this boxing, but he ain't fought one boxer, boxer yet. Yeah, it's, he's only been fighting wrestlers and a basketball player. On a That's basketball it. player. That's it. MMA fighters, not... He ain't fought a boxer yet. Now, if he did, I, I, I again, this is not me knocking uh, Jake Paul, trying to, trying, trying to knock him down, man, or trying to talk bad about him. I, I'm not a hater. I told you this. I always say that. Jake Paul, I think, has worked hard. Mm -hmm. Jake Paul shows that he is actually training himself. You know, Jake Paul, I, and, and Jake Paul is going out there, and he continues to push himself to do different things and always succeed at it. So. I admire Jake Paul. I know there's a lot of people thought I would never say that, and I never thought I'd say that shit either. But I do. I admire him for, for, for everything he's doing, from his marketing to him being disciplined with the boxing. 
but can you fight an actual boxer? Because if he fought one, then I'd be like, yeah, cool. You know, so it's not disrespect to him. I think he's done everything he needs to do except fight an actual boxer. I mean, Jake Paul knows, but he knows as soon as he gets in a ring with a real boxer, it's over. Like like I said uh, in yesterday's show, um, he's talking about he wants to fight Canelo Alvarez. Down the line, he wants to fight Floyd Mayweather. Come on, we know what the outcome okay. of that going to be. The Floyd Mayweather, if, Oz, did you, did you ever see a Floyd Mayweather fight they did with uh, his brother Logan Paul? No, I heard about it though. I heard it was it was terrible. Yeah, it, it was embarrassing for the sport of boxing. Yeah. I'll tell you that. It may it was it was good for Floyd Mayweather because I said this before. And I'll you know, I'll pull up a picture of Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather <laughs> Logan Paul. It was good for Floyd Mayweather because Floyd Mayweather, he's he's promoting his boxers now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he was he wanted to promote the undercards for that, and he was very open with it. Mm-hmm. He went out and told people. He said, listen, I'm not just doing this for the money. So I respect it in a way, but do it once, and that's it. Because even at that one time, it looked like it was making a mockery of boxing yeah. just to promote a business. He says, I'm there to promote the undercards. I'm there to promote my, my the boxes that I'm representing under my name. And, uh, and that's it. He don't need to do that shit no, no more. more. Yeah, we don't need to see that no more. Boy, after that, that's it. That's it, bro. There's no reason to ever get in the ring again. Done. <laughs> yeah. Especially Logan Paul after only having one year of experience with yeah. boxing. Went in there and took Floyd eight rounds. You know how embarrassing that is? To, to go in there with a legend and, and yeah, go eight what, rounds? What you say like you going in dunking on yeah, LeBron. That's, yeah, that's like me playing basketball and going in dunking on LeBron or Dwight Howard or something like that. I'm not supposed to be able to do, do something like yeah. that. And... and he already he don't need to go into the rank with another Paul. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, that is one. Look, because uh, the thing is, Jake Paul is better than his brother. So yes. who knows yes, what the heck is. happens if Jake Paul runs in there? Yeah, it was a joke, man. It was a joke. I yeah. mean, I, he, they got money, they got paid. He promoted himself, but mm-hmm. as far as was it respectful to boxing to, for all all these years, where boxers have been so dedicated and disciplined to the sport to be in peak physical condition to go in there with another man. And risk their bodies like that mm-hmm. to go in here now and do all this. You know, all, like I said this uh, the other day. This is nothing but these are nothing but glorified exposition matches. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're on the net. With and that one. and that's that's crazy to me. To me, you know. So I, you know, I'm, I'm asking people because, like I said, you know, Jake Paul, something is is telling me that the reason why I'm, I, I get irritated with this because I don't think it's taken seriously. I think it's done just to promote themselves and get paid. Yeah. You know, like I said, Jake Paul has fought other YouTubers. He's fought, he's fought a, uh, oh, yeah, he, uh, fought, he's, uh, he fought, what was it? He fought KSI's younger brother. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, fought uh, other YouTubers, years. wrestlers, basketball players, other YouTubers, but not one boxer. Who's he going to fight next? A dude in a, in a gorilla suit? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> he going to fight Donkey Kong? Right. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it, and there are things with this that I have to ask you, is it cool to still call this boxing? Because there's a lot of this that says that this is not real boxing. Mm-hmm. This is showmanship. This is marketing. This is people going in there for, yes, a paycheck. The reason why is because a lot of people are beginning to question things based on what they saw from this last fight. Mm-hmm. There's that moment where Woodley knocked that fool to the to the to the ropes, <laughs> clocked his ass yeah. against them ropes, and you could see Jake like that wasn't in the script. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At this juncture, he's <laughs> the jab how about that as a feint and then the right hand kind of pushing wow. him against the now right. look at that now people are saying now i don't want to be a conspiracy theorist but people are saying okay so if, once you have him knocked against the ropes why, why don't you go keep in keep going yeah that's the biggest criticism with the fight uh last night where everybody was like yo you if you would have just kept let, if you let your hands go you would have been yeah. knocked him out and he's a look he's a trained mma fighter yeah so so he had a little bit of experience with boxing, yeah, but not too but, much. But what happens when a dude, man, and when an MMA fighter goes down, they could be knocked out, yeah. and no fools lay well, in on them until on. the referee says stop. Yeah, or they push him off. Shit, that, we saw what happened with Conor McGregor. He broke, practically broke his ankle, yeah. and that dude was still going in yeah. on him. But I, I don't get why he didn't just continue this time. That's what I'm wondering. So was this was this rigged? Yes. Because he didn't keep going in. Yeah. I, and he can't say because he's not. Well, if you if you really want to go by fighter experience, you just can't say well it's be, you know, he's not trained at boxing. Well, fighters go in harder. Yeah, cause if he's in UFC, so UFC has a little bit of experience when it comes to boxing. You know, I think he's his uh, last knockout was maybe like eight years ago or something. But he would he should know better what to do in the situation. If you have your opponent rock like this, you keep going. You don't back up. You know. Yeah, 
I, I, but I don't know. Listen, I'm not. I don't know MMA fighting. I don't even know boxes enough to, to come in here and be an expert on this. That's why I'm asking y'all. I'm asking y'all, man. Is this? What do you think? I mean, is can we really? Can we really, really, legitimately call this boxing out there? Uh, now, go ahead. I was gonna say, is this sanctioned by the boxing organization? Is yeah. this, you know, considered a boxing match by legal boxing, you know, terms? I don't know who runs that whole thing. Is there some sort of um, a league that you gotta be in to be considered like an original match? Because you know, you could you could play, you know, one on one with you know with LeBron or whatever, but that's not an NBA <laughs> game. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's not considered. You know, me, Corey, Martin, and Julian, and freaking Chris Herman playing against you know the Lakers. <laughs> you know what I mean? In in the park. You know what I mean? People come in and, and, and film that. That's not an NBA game. That's just a game. That's you know, not a it's not sanctioned game. by the yeah. NBA. Uh, so is this is this are these boxing matches being sanctioned by boxing, whoever that is? I believe so, because they have judges and showtime. They're saying it's not. The the, 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 okay, chat, it's not? Okay. the chat is saying that it is yeah. not. And well, I, so I and it's I, just I, exhibitions. That's right, man, no, everybody keeps calling them boxing matches, but they're exhibition well, max yeah. ma- uh, 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 they're, they're exhibition matches, man. They see well, people saying no, it's not. Okay. Right. Well, if 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 that is the case, then I can't be mad at this, right? Because they they're doing what exactly what they're doing. This is <laughs> at this point, this is wrestling. This is you know fake. It is what it is, you know. And a lot of people who are tuning in to watch this are people who are watching to hate watch Jake Paul yeah. and Logan Paul, yeah. hoping that they get knocked out. That's yeah. why people are watching this, hoping that they get knocked out. Um. To say that you're not taking boxing seriously, um, I don't know if I would go that far, only because, like I said, it isn't sanctioned by, you know, the boxing, whatever that league is. You know what I mean? So if I look at this, I'm looking at it for what it is, like you guys said. Just an exhibition match. You know, like I said, I'm considering these two fools fighting on the playground. Like a lot of people are saying that, you know, Jake Paul is a boxer. Even though well, he has, he has, he, even though he hasn't yet fought to a bit yet to fight. And another thing that makes me think that this whole thing is rigged is because, yeah. well, after you the know, fight. The, 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 so go ahead, Oz. I'm sorry. No, I'm just saying. Uh, to me, I, 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 like the, again, that umbrella of being in this boxing thing. You know, if you're outside of it, you can do whatever the hell you want. So mm-hmm. of course, this shit is rigged. You yeah, know what I mean, again, yeah. using that, you know, us in the playground versus the Lakers mentality, that situation. Yeah, we could rig the whole game just because there's lights there and there's a crowd and people are televising it doesn't make it a sanctioned game. Just like just because they're in a ring and people have paid to see this spectacle, you know, doesn't mean that it's an official boxing match. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's rigged, you know, definitely rigged. You know, I saw that joint right there. You know, like Julian said, if you have something against the ropes, why are you stopping? Because mm-hmm. it's not part of the script. Yeah. <laughs> but you know yeah. that's what the big debate is with people because people think right. that these are legitimate boxing matches and also people are just like okay we get it you got to get paid but why are these why are these guys going out here and doing so many exhibition matches why are these why, you know the, people getting tired of seeing these I guess people are just kind of getting tired of seeing like these uh, and I'm not saying this 100% for myself because I'm I'm still trying to figure all this out I'm still trying to be in the middle and try to be fair off all this but I do understand when people are like man you know it just it's just you got these guys who at one time would never really mm-hmm. do this just for the money. Yeah. And now these people are just doing they're 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 engaging, you know, YouTubers now. Yeah. <laughs> just to get yeah. paid. But at the same time, the YouTubers are bringing in the crowd. Yeah. So, you know, now, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And, I, and I, hear, I hear what you're saying, Corey, the fact that people are actually calling them boxers and, you know, and excuse me, and, you know, saying these fights are legitimate. That could be it's confusing. One. And two, you know, if it's being viewed like that, it is definitely plummeting the uh, the respect, you know, and the reputation of boxing. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you, you think of all the great boxers that, you know, have done it before. And then you <laughs> scrub past a couple of decades yeah. to see this shit. Oh, yeah, you got to yeah. be upset. Like, yeah, so boxers think, would go out think, there and they would do these fun entertaining exhibition matches they go out there and they they, you know, they, they fight a bear or something you know like, <laughs> but but it really was people were like ah this is funny we know exactly yeah. what they're doing you know this yeah. is kind of blurring the line now because people are thinking that these are legit boxing matches and they're not and they're saying you know and they keep calling these guys boxers and meanwhile you got right. some boxers who are like stop saying that man yeah. that's not that's not boxing yeah. right there you I, know? I wonder if this is on boxing it. though 
because of the fact that, like, if you think about boxing, like, the biggest name, Earl Spence, Floyd Mayweather, Canelo Alvarez, there's not too many big names out there. So I yeah. wonder, you know, the YouTubers come in and, like, oh, they can bring the money, you know? But you know what? That is that, that is something that people are saying. They're saying they're, they're, what they're trying to do, and I think Dana White is one of the people that's trying to get a new audience into sports. Yeah. So it's a business move, too, where... Again, it's a business move. It's blurring the line, but I get it. It's like we're trying to bring in a younger audience. We're trying to bring in a, a new audience. We're trying to bring in that that internet audience. Yeah, yeah. You know those in, that internet youth audience. Yeah. So you know, I. But I you know, but a lot of people are also saying this, and I've seen this a lot. And now they're saying it right here. They're saying, okay, so that's cool to bring in all, a new audience, but can we do it in a way where we we can be careful not to turn this into the WWE? Yeah. Cause if you uh, there was, a while, there was a while back there was like another YouTuber's TikToking uh, boxing match, and then last week there was another uh, TikTok versus TikTok boxing match. So now there's a lot of you know these little Damn. boxing matches going on. Yeah, now, maybe so. this is may, maybe this is a, you know bringing out new talent that was that's being looked for in an area was where it wasn't looked for before. Yeah, you know I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe this need to be uh, instead of boxing, need to be some sort of like, uh, you know, uh, Vince McMahon trying to put some of that XFL football. Maybe we, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, boxing has to better the promote their school. fighters. Well, you know, if they're gonna go this crazy, man, we're bringing in like internet people. Have them dress like characters in Fortnite or something. Have them box that way. You know? yeah, have, them, yeah. have them come out there looking like cartoon and video game characters. And have them, so we know it ain't real. So we know this shit yeah. is like distinguished, man. Make, yeah. Go crazy with it. You know, have yeah. it look like Mike Tyson's punch out or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know, is it common for fighters to not be in the same weight class to fight each other? Is that common? It, you have to be in the same weight yes. class to be considered, you know, the, the contenders at that point. That's what it's supposed to be. But then you see Floyd and Logan Paul, and that's just two different you know, and, weight yeah, classes. You know what? That differentiates what we're, we're talking about here. You know what I mean? Because now you have a, 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 a case where you're, you have different weight classes fighting each other. Mm -hmm. And that's not supposed to be the case. If it's supposed to be a sanctioned fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because with this, I think Jake is bigger, heavier, and got a longer reach than him. Yeah. And you know, now he's like, man, I'm gonna get one good one in. Y'all gonna make me look stupid. Uh, see, after the fight, they're already talking about a rematch he with Jake, the tattoo yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. like, god damn. Yeah, and, but see, that's where this uh, other stuff comes in. First of all, uh, <laughs> let's see that the, the everything's being more entertaining about the about the fights than the actual. Than the actual fights, man, like Snoop Dogg coming in and recording oh, yeah. or doing commentary. Yeah, commentary, yeah. And yeah, right. Lord have mercy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord have mercy. 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 Snoop Dogg should definitely do some more commentating. So. Oh, yeah, he does, man. He does. Yeah, I, everything's kind of more, more more excited than the fight. Yeah. But here's, here's the thing that really... So uh, this is what really makes me think that it's rigged. So... This dude ain't fought one boxer, but got a perfect record mm -hmm. for not fighting any boxers in boxing matches and already talking about, well, you know, I think it might be time to retire. Oh. <laughs> 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 what? He's, yeah, they, that's what I was telling you about today, yeah. uh, 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 Julian, when I yeah. said I read this. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I might need to chill out for a second. <laughs> figure out who I am. I'm only 24. I'm changing. I'm growing. I'm learning a lot. I'm going through ups and downs. I'm making mistakes, but I'm keeping my head on straight. I'm just going to get back into the gym, and when I'm ready, we'll see. So he's already trying to find an out right yeah, here. Yeah, boy, that before he, ha before he has to go yeah. in and fight like, a yeah. real boxer. Yeah. Well, I know they're going to set up another uh, rematch between these two, and then Conor McGregor, he, won, he called out Conor McGregor. And then they were trying to do, uh, like I said, Canelo down the line. But I, he ain't ready for all that. No. No, he ain't. But, this, this, you know, he already trying to give himself an out. They'll yeah. do one more rigged fight yep. for for publicity. And then he'll say, well, you know what? I'm out, y'all. Yeah, get and out he, while you can. Get out while you can. Well, you got a perfect record. Yep. We're not fighting one damn person legitimate to the sport. <laughs> yeah. I, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> like, oh, you gonna you gonna call yourself a goddamn chef and what you make? Oh, hot water. That's yeah. it. Okay. I would I would take him seriously. Got I'm gonna microwave these meals. And, you know what? After I'm done, I'm out this bitch. <laughs> I would take him seriously. <laughs> I would take him seriously if he fought one real boxer. You know, I don't even care if it's like Manny Pacquiao. Shoot, I would take him seriously if he fought Manny Pacquiao, but. I'm not even saying Manny Pacquiao, Floyd, something like that. I'm talking about like somebody that had been boxing for years on years. I would take him seriously if he went in there and fought that person. Shit, I take, you know what? I mean, I almost take Logan Paul more seriously than him because at least Logan went in there and fought a real boxer. Yeah, yeah, it maybe it wasn't even, maybe it wasn't real, but at least yeah. he could say I was in the ring with a real Floyd, boxer. Yeah. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Floyd will arguably be the greatest of all time. I just find it's kind of shady. That he that he's talking about retiring before he gets in with a real boxer. If he gets in with a real boxer, hey, I don't care if he wins or loses. Mm -hmm. He trained hard for it. He did yeah. it. Respect. Mm -hmm. But if you sit up here talking about I ain't fought one goddamn real person in yeah. my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm retiring. I'm yeah. done. <laughs> he's already casting his biopic and everything right, right. now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you know, you've been training. You so-called a martial arts expert. And all you did was... Karate chop wood the yeah. whole time. You know, <laughs> 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 oh boy, my career is done. <laughs> the only thing I'll you ain't fought no real person at all. You did was just beat up plywood. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the only thing I'll give Jake Paul is he's changing uh, the, uh, the game of boxing. He's definitely changing it. Yeah, uh, you, you know, he's bringing attention to it. Yeah. So that's working. So, all right. Yeah. All right, then, man. Let's see. We'll see. All y'all had some good stuff to say, you know. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm asking. Yeah. I'm asking questions. Yeah, so, uh, I agree with you, man. It's it, <laughs> it's all rigged and it's all fake, you know. And yeah. I'm I'm gonna retire from baking because I just bought some Dunkin' Donuts and I think <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I'm done here. Yeah, man. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> there goes your career as a pastry chef. Hey. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> 